What do you do when you first meet a stranger? What does a golden conure do? Look at this. Making fast and furious friends. Hi, I'm Kaylin, the author of The Parapolis Bond. Please be sure to get your copy on Amazon so you have your handbook that will help you provide everything you need to provide a quality life for your sideways caped parrot and your right side up golden so that they can then share quantities of bliss with you. This morning, we're hanging out with Bonnie Rose and Quantum. And I was just commenting to my husband how the minute a parrot is with another parrot, their behavior changes. Bonnie Rose has just been on her own most of the time, uh, adjusting, just getting comfortable with the flock and us, that kind of thing. She's been super shy and she's just, you know, she needs to gain some confidence before she's with the flock too much. But we're hanging out this morning. This is a good way to give her some flock time. And my, my husband happened to have each one on a shoulder. And Bonnie came over to Quantum. And look at how differently Quantum's behaving. He's giving her upside down beak. So he's being submissive, saying, let's be friends. They're kissing <laughs> at the, uh, you know, they're beaking, they're, they're tonguing each other, but then they're relating to each other differently. They're preening each other. They're, now they're, he's going, nope, nope. What happened? Hi, sweetie. Hi. Oh, there he goes. And she, I'll grant you, Bonnie does try to preen my skin, which doesn't work out very well. There's no feathers there. We must be some strange chickens to these parrots. And that's a joke because people call them chickens. But look at that. Look at how they just relate and speak differently to each oh, other. from two different continents. Yep, even though these guys are from two different continents. So... Quantum, who's now in the screen, is from the African con continent. He is a male Cape Parrot. And Bonnie Rose right there is from Brazil or the Latin continents. And she is a Queen of Bavaria or a Golden Conure. Look, do you see all the dust on him? That's coming out because she's preening him. So he probably has pin feathers and she is doing him the favor of removing the shaft. Um, it's something that when it comes to places like around his eyes and stuff, obviously he can't reach. The back of his neck, he can't reach. So this is one way that they really relate to each other and help each other. And it's something that you and I can do. We could try to you know get the shaft off of their pin feathers but they seem to know which pin feather to do which one not to do when i try to help my amazon she screams at me and they just seem to do a really good job i think they've got the beak for it my fingers and nails don't do as good of a job and with them they're clearly enjoying each other preening each other relating to each other for them it's bonding not to say that they wouldn't be bonding if you did it. It's just to say, you know, you and I just don't do it the same way. I blew those little shafts off. Now, Macy over there is not relating. Unfortunately, Macy, my female Kate, she hasn't bridged things. She's like not relating on the parrot side, which I don't like. Um, we adopted her almost a year ago and she was already like that. And so she isn't as parrot oriented, which I don't like. Over there, we've got from the African continent, two of our African gray girls. And up in the tree is Tesla. Who seems to be enjoying hearing his voice echo across the lake this morning. If you have ever been curious about what a Cape Parrot sounds like, 
that's some of it. And actually, this little girl's telling me she's hungry, and I've got Paloma on my shoulder, and she's squeaking for food, but she's not wanting the food I'm offering her. First thing in the morning, they're always happy to eat. So you could see these two girls are relating more with each other. I know it doesn't look like they are, but they're hanging out. They're checking things out. He's being a parrot. They're being parrots. Look at that. There's already more dust. Let's see if we can see all the dust on him again. Quite a bit. And unfortunately, Macy's not. And so hopefully with time, Macy will become more of a parrot and bridge more of that parrotness. And our fourth kid, Paloma's on my shoulder squawking. If you listen, that's... You hear that? That's Tesla. The cake sound. As always, thank you for watching the ads. I appreciate it. It helps me support my flock. Where are you going now, Quantum? Are you going to eat? And... If you have any questions about parrots, please be sure to comment below. You can also go to parrotbliss.com and get your bottle of Tink's must-have parrot relief, which is CBD oil uh, that is perfect if your parrot is de-stressing or gets hurt and is in pain, or you have friends over and your parrot is freaking out. Have you noticed how much they don't like strangers? Oh, and if you wanted to know what an Amazon sounds like, do you hear that? Ah, ah, that's the Zons. See, now, now she's not being as much, like, she's not relating to the parrot the same way. So there's a good example for you, the importance of having two, how different they are. It's, it's a different mode. They really get into a different frame of mind. And so I like to talk about them keeping both frame of, frames of mind. Getting to be a parrot and relate to the parrots and also getting to connect with people and relate with people. Two frames of mind. And I talk about them bridging it so that they can cross back and forth. As opposed to my Macy who crossed over. She was probably the only parrot in a home um, because she was a year and a half before I had her. And so she's very people oriented, but is not so good at being bird oriented. See those girls? They're being parrots. So that's really good. Having that parrot orientation. Him too. All right, that's going to be a feathered wrap. Thank you for joining me in this blissful video. Don't forget, I love hearing about how you're doing with your parrots. I love seeing pictures on the group at Parrot Bliss Flock. Please join today and we will catch you in the next feathered video.